Bernoulli distribution. The PMF or the probability mass function of Bernoulli distribution is probability of capital X is equal to small x is equal to P raised to x into Q raised to 1 minus x. So from here we know x is equal to 0 or 1. So we can also write this equation as P when x is equal to 1 and Q when x is equal to 0. So this can also be said as probability of this random variable or Bernoulli random variable x taking the value 1 is equal to P and probability of this Bernoulli random variable taking the value 0 is equal to Q which is equal to 1 minus P. So this is the PMF of a Bernoulli distribution. So we can write this PMF either in this way where P raised to x into Q raised to 1 minus x and providing the range of x as 0 and 1 or we can write this probability as P when x is equal to 1 and this probability is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 sorry is equal to Q when x is equal to 0. Also, from this thing, we can say probability of x equal to 1 is p and probability x is equal to 0 is q, which is 1 minus p. So, now we are moving on to the properties of this Bernoulli distribution and for that, we are going to discuss the mean. The mean. So, mean can be written as expectation of x which is equal to summation over the range of x which is 0 to 1 x into probability of x is equal to x. So from here we know x takes only two values 0 and 1. So this is equal to integral sorry summation x is equal to 0 to 1 x into we can write it as p raised to x into q raised to 1 minus x and expand this summation. Or what we can do is we can write directly as opening this x is equal to 0 to 1. So from here we can write it as 0 into probability of x is equal to 0 plus 1 into probability of x is equal to 1. So we know this is equal to 0 into q plus 1 into p which is equal to p. Therefore the mean of our distribution, our Bernoulli distribution is p which is the probability of success. Now we need to find the variance of x. So x is a Bernoulli random variable and we need to find the variance of x. So variance of x is usually denoted by v of x or var of x which is equal to expectation of x square minus expectation of x the whole square. Yes. So we know expectation of x which is p. So expectation of x the whole square will be p square but we don't know what this term is. So to find that term we use the similar procedure or same procedure as what we have used to find the mean. So expectation of x square is equal to summation x square into probability of x. So we know x takes only values 0 and 1. So this can be written as 0 square into probability of x is equal to 0 plus 1 square into probability of x is equal to 1. So which is equal to 0 into q plus 1 into p which is p. So from here 
variance of x is equal to expectation of x square is p so p minus p square which is equal to p into 1 minus p or which can be written as p q so for the mean is p the mean is p and the variance is p q okay now what we require is we have to find the mgf mx of t so which is equal to expectation of e raised to tx and this is equal to summation over x is equal to 0 1 e raised to tx into probability of x is equal to x so from here while expanding the summation sign we will get e raised to t into 0 into probability of x is equal to 0 plus e raised to t into probability of x is equal to 1. We know e raised to 0 is 1 and probability of x is equal to 0 is q. So this q plus e raised to t into probability of x is equal to 1 is p. So we can write this as q plus p e raised to t. Therefore, the mean is p variance is pq and mgf is q plus p e raised to 